in and have a mo- Fellas, 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 this is Keith Murray, y'all. I know all my OGs, all my brothers in the 30s and 40s, especially the 40s. Late 30s, y'all might not remember this rapper, but his name was Keith Murray, y'all. And this is him right now, currently in 2023. Now, when you look at somebody that was a multi-millionaire, uh, was was having the best of the best of women, sleeping with Foxy Brown celebrities, just the cream of the crop. He had access to everything in life, and now this is him in 2023, y'all. I'm talking about walking around out of his mind, and it's just really sad, sad to see how he ended up in this particular state. Now, there was a campaign that came out years ago to say, say no to drugs, y'all. Say no to drugs. This is obviously, it's obvious that this man is on drugs. He's out of his mind. Drugs, and, and, I, and, I, and I know a lot of people feel like that they help. But when we look at the crack era, how it really, really demolished our people, how it tore up our families, tore up our neighborhoods. I don't understand how somebody can see the outcome and detriment that it's done to our people and still continue to do drugs. And now people are cutting it with fentanyl, you know, even, 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 you know, the, the marijuana people grow and they grow it a certain way just so it can have a certain effect. Because once you once you start chasing a high, that's a problem. And 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 I know a lot of people probably think, well, I can handle this, I can handle that, but you never know what somebody's putting in the chemicals. It's kind of like eating gym, gym genetically modified food. We don't know what's in it. And then people are creating all these drugs, and I don't even care if it's legal, even if it's marijuana. I've seen people spray roach spray on marijuana and people go out their mind. And a person didn't even know. I've seen people uh, hit a blunt not knowing that it was laced with crack cocaine. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know. Like me personally, I can honestly admit, you know, I used to smoke uh, marijuana back in the day, recreationally. I stopped, I actually stopped when I was 18. And the reason I personally stopped because I had to get a job. I said, man, I, I ain't going to go around getting other people urine and got to put it in this just to try to pass a drug test. And I know I need to be working to get a job. So I just said, forget it. I just quit cold turkey. I just quit that day. And went and got me a job. But I, when, I, when I look at this video, y'all, just look at this, man. This dude had millions of dollars, y'all. We're talking about millions and it's all gone. And where are the people that were spending his money? Where are the people that, when he was up at the top of his, height of his career, that wanted to be up under him? Guarantee y'all, these people are nowhere to be found. And this right here, and I'm posting this video because this is a lesson learned. That, first of all, you should be humble. That's number one. You should be humble each and every day because you never know what tomorrow holds. We never know what will be five years from now. So the best thing in life is to keep God first. That's number one. Submit to the principles of God, i.e. the Bible, regardless of whether you want to believe it or not. And just try your best to take care of your family, love your family, and focus on the things that money can't buy. We have to focus on the things that money cannot buy. Because like when you when 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 Keith Murray was Keith Murray, People were attached to him because he had money. The women were associated with him because he had money. Or people were thinking, well, hey, he can do this for me. Or looking for the things that they can get up out of him. Now, when you have no substantial value, this right here is a prime example of that people can't benefit from you. Now, I'm pretty sure Keith Murray has family members and people that genuinely love him. 
But I guarantee you, some of these same people that looked up to him wouldn't even let him sleep on their couch right now. I'm talking about family members. We're not even talking about people outside. We're talking about family members. Some of them. I'm not talking about all of them. But I'm pretty sure he had some people that when he was at the height of his career, they probably licked the ground he walked on. Guaranteed. And now, in 2023, when you look at the state that he's in mentally, these people probably won't even be associated. They probably love him. But you know how you love somebody from afar? Be like, man, I love you, but you need to stay over there. I, but I guarantee you, he has family members like that. So, at the end of the day, man, this right here, drugs alone has tore up our community. Has brought a lot of, has made a lot of fathers not be in the home because of the outcome, the aftermath of them being associated with crack cocaine, different drugs. The same thing goes for women. We don't have neighborhoods anymore. We only have hoods. So we had a neighborhood you looked out for your neighbor. We don't have neighborhoods. We just got hoods now. And this is the type of stuff you see in the hood. I don't want to go in my community or go down my street and see a man out of his mind. Because if he's out of his mind and then he comes to my house or my resident where my family is, then I'm going to feel threatened because I don't know what that individual is up to. I don't know. You know, what's going on in their mind and their heart. And if I fear for my my safety and my family's safety, I'm going to eliminate the threat. I'm going to protect myself and I'm going to protect me and mine. And so someone experiencing this type of situation, guess what? I am going to make sure that that I take care of my business. Right? Because just just look at this, y'all. This is truly, this is truly, truly sad. And, I, and I'm praying for this brother. I'm not gonna sit up here and bash him, but this is just a lesson learned that you can you can have, have millions of dollars and lose it all. You can have millions of dollars and you can lose it all. First of all, not taking care of your business, not having the right people in your circle, not having the right people around you. Not only that, a lot of people that have millions of dollars. They don't listen to nobody. Sometimes you have to have mentors. You have to have people that you will listen to because you get the big head, you get the hot head, you don't want to listen to nobody, and then you end up losing it all. And then everybody leaves you. These same people are not around you anymore. These same people that looked up to you won't even be around you anymore. So I hope I've said something in this video and just looking at this Really sad in my heart. Like I said, I'm going to pray for this brother. Stay humble. Keep God first. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe.